This week, I have knitted this lovely folded tote bag. With Halloween only a week away, I've downsized the pattern to make a cute trick or treat bag. So let's get knitting. To make this, I'm using the last of my Stop Stealing My Pumpkin by Countess Blaze. This is a super chunky soft yarn that should produce a bag very quickly. I just wish I had some green super chunky on hand to make this a proper pumpkin bag. I'm using higher higher thick circular bamboo needles. These are 8mm with a 24 inch cable. In hindsight, I could have used a shorter cable for this project. Now the cables on all higher higher products have been improved. Anyone with recent deliveries may have noticed the cable before the tip has a longer flat part. This is to assist in your stitch holding and release during knitting. It especially aids in our interchangeable range as the weight of your work helps the cable in rotating around your needle tip. This is to ease stress on your wrists and joints. This is brilliant for anyone with mobility issues. You should start seeing more with this feature in your deliveries from now on. So I have adapted this pattern to what I wanted to make today. So I've opted for a bigger yarn and needles. However, I'll be casting on less. The pattern suggests casting on 30 stitches or until it measures 10 inches. Yeah, I cast on until it was about eight inches wide. I measured this with the higher, higher Panda tape measure. It's a compact tape measure that goes up to 60 inches and is auto retracting. The pattern is simple. It's garter stitch for three times the length as the width that you cast on. So as I have made it eight inches wide, I needed to garter stitch for 24 inches. To keep my edges neat, it suggests to slip every first stitch of the row and knit into the back of the final stitch of the row. Now I'm gonna speed this up for you as it took about an hour from this point to complete the main bulk of the bag. This project is ideal for just mindless knitting as you're watching TV. Any beginner can do this and it's a great starter project for anyone looking into knitting. Now, it might have been quicker if I didn't keep playing with Lola. So say hello to Lola, everyone. And put it back down. Once I had gartered 24 inches, I cast off and cut off the tail with my higher, higher puppy snips. These live permanently in my pen pot as they're just too handy. You want to take one corner and fold it up like this. Take the opposite corner and fold it down like this. Then flip the first corner over to meet the second one like so. If this is unclear, the link to the pattern below has step-by-step -step pictures. The next step is to sew up along here and here. To do this, I'm using our higher, higher darn it to darning needles. I tried to keep it neat by ensuring the rows matched up. Once you've weaved in the ends and turned it inside out, you have your main part of your bag. So the last bit that you need to make for this is your handle. In the pattern, she gives a good example for knitting one up, so that's what I'm going to do now. To start, cast on six stitches. And then stocking stitch for your desired length. Once it's long enough, cast off with a long tail and whip stitch the lengths together. Then connect the handle to the top points of your bag. And there you have it. Perfect little tote bag that you can make for daily use or can make a nice reusable bag for your shopping. This one I've made smaller as a trick or treat bag and you could easily adapt it to make the handle out of green yarn and sew a little pumpkin face onto it. But this will do nicely. As ever, links to our stockists and all the items I've used are in the description below. Please like, subscribe and comment on this video, anything you'd like to see from us. And until next time, happy Halloween and happy knitting.